record. Ciao and welcome back to Pasta Morte, Pasta with Love. I'm Chef Joe Melli and I'd like to welcome you up to here to Chile, New England, where we have just relocated from sunny Florida. It took a while, but now we're back on the air. And being up here, uh, I'm going to today show you how to make one of the Northeast's favorite pastas, cavatelli, uh, or as New York Italians like to say, cavadillo. Anyway, remember, Italians pronounce every vowel of every word, so the proper termina terminology is cavatelli. And what are we talking about? We're talking about these babies right here. Okay, they're short little pastas. They're really hearty pastas made with a different kind of dough, okay? These are made to collect a hearty sauce, a meat sauce sometimes, okay? And they are similar to gnocchi, okay? But they are made with flour and um, egg and a special ingredient, rigotta, okay? It's not rigotta. Okay, so how do we make this? Why is this dough different? Regular pasta dough, we use durum wheat, five eggs, and that's it. Okay, so we're using basic all-purpose white flour. Okay, we're using two cups of white flour. And we got it in a bowl, and we're going to make a well in this bowl, which I already have. Okay, and to that, we're going to add eight ounces, or about a cup of rigotta. A little salt. A little fresh pepper. and one egg. So, I usually take a fork initially and I'll mix the regatta and the egg together and then fold in the flour. This has got to be a really firm dough, okay? Uh, if it's sticky at all, this will not work. So, I initially use the fork to combine when it starts coming together, I'll take it out of the bowl, place it on the board, and knead it into a nice firm dough. And I have one that's already resting, of course I do. And I will show you that in a second. Just want to get, this almost resembles like a pie crust initially, right? You see those, um, the crumbly effect there? Now, once this is done, I'm going to transfer, I'm going to stop using the fork. I'm coming in here with my hands, okay, and this is where I can tell whether or not I have enough moisture I, or I have to add more flour. It seems pretty good right now. I'm at the point now where I can, okay, I'm going to remove the bowl. and then start kneading in my dough right on the table. It's nice to have a nice wooden table to work your dough on. And you want to knead it, okay? You can't really overwork this dough. It's not like other doughs that are very delicate. And you really need to get that regatta all processed in the flour. Now you can see, as it starts to come together, with a very firm, not sticky, not tacky dough. Okay, so now, I get it into a ball. And of course, like most doughs, you want to rest it, okay? So, that's when I would usually wrap it in plastic wrap, leave it off to the top, off to the side. Obviously I have one that's already done, okay. Alright, so what do we do from here? Alright, a couple things we can do. I don't know if you've ever seen one of these before, but this is an actually Cavatelli machine. It's roughly about 35-40 bucks. Uh, probably get it at your favorite kitchen store. And this uh, manual contraption here is going to crank out our little cavatellis. Okay, so how do we get there? We're just going to grab a piece of our dough, okay, off the end. It's already been resting, it's nice, okay, it's still not sticky, not tacky. I'm going to roll it into a thick rope.
and then flatten it slightly with their little rolling pin. And you make a strip. Okay, what you try to do is probably, oh, about uh, maybe the maximum inch and a half to two inches wide. Okay, now this is going to be fed into our Cavatelli machine. We'll put a little dusting flour. Okay, and then, get this out of your way, this is going to create these little babies. Okay, so what we're going to do is feed this into the machine. And we will get fresh cavadali. Make sure you can dust. Okay, you don't want them to stick together. Now, I know what you're thinking. Well, I don't have one of those machines. What do I do? Okay, I'm going to show you uh, for probably under $10 what you can do. Now, what do I do with these at this point? Okay, now if I wanted to, I can make these ahead of time. Say I wanted to have them over the weekend and um, I don't want them right away. I'm going to take them, I'm going to throw them in the freezer, leave them on a sheet pan. When they solidly freeze, then I can bag them up, plastic bags, and then use them whenever I want. Okay? Now, going back to what I said about if you don't have one of those, what I do have here is a little gnocchi board. It's under $10 at your kitchen store. All right, once again, you're going to take a piece of your dough and you're going to roll it out. Let's get rid of the excess flour into a thinner rope this time. Almost the same process as if you were rolling out gnocchi, but this dough is much more firmer and it will do whatever you want it to do. So we're going to take and we're going to cut these into about the same lengths, finger lengths, right? And then we're going to take them on our board, press down, and we're going to roll these off. And you can have the same thing for a lot less money. Okay, so now we would have Cavadelli, okay, in that, by just using that board, okay. So you can buy this, 35, 40 bucks if you would like, um, or you can just get uh, one of these boards, okay. So what are we going to do with this? We have our water boiling. We're going to cook these like we would any pasta, fresh pasta. We're going to cook these until they float, and then... We're going to toss them. We're going to do this cavatelli alla romana, which means your favorite marinara sauce, tomato sauce, is your base. Then you're going to blend in some fresh rigotta, okay? A little parmigiano, a little fresh basil, salt, pepper, and it's done, okay? So I have my water now rapidly boiling here. And I'm going to go in. Grab my cavatelli. And we're going to drop those in. They're going to take a little bit to cook because these are not, uh, these are a little bit hardier dough. Okay? These are a little bit thicker in consistency. Okay? So you, you're going to cook them, like I said, until they float, which is going to tell us that they're done. Okay? Meanwhile, now I've got my, my uh, tomato sauce, my marinara simmering here, okay? And I have to have a plato ready for service, a fork ready for tasting. Now a couple of them have already come up, okay? 
Now you can buy these already made. You'll see them in the freezer section usually in your uh, in your store. If you go to a, an Italian importing store, you might find cavatelli in the freezer section. Um, you might even find them dried in some sections. Okay. Um, but it's a lot more fun just to make your own. And really, I mean, this dough is going to go a long way, believe me. All right, so you can see now our pastas are floating. All right, I got to do a little test here. I'm going to grab one out of here. Perfect. Okay, don't forget, salted water like the sea. Okay, so we're going to take from here. Our tomato sauce is simmering. All right, we want every last one in there. Nobody gets away. All right, a little bit of that water. Okay, I'm gonna shut this guy off. Now, I'm gonna give him a little salt. Okay, a little pepper. Toss. Fold in our ricotta. Shut off my heat. So it's going to be more like a pink sauce. Okay, I need to add my chiffonado fresh basil. Take a slotted spoon, dish up our cavatelli. The aroma is amazing right now. We're going to finish this one, like I said, with some parmesan. I know. Charlie, you finding any scraps? Not yet, huh? Okay, hang around. This is comfort food, okay, at its best, right? Really, really nice, hearty pasta with a little bit of chew to it, okay? But that regatta and the sauce uh, mellows that out nicely. Mm. Such a simple peasant food, but so delicious. Delicioso is what we might say in Italy. Anyways, you have the recipe now. You see how it's done? Go do it. From Chile, New England, this has been Chef Joe Melly saying, Buon Appetito. Ciao, ciao.